For many Minnesota drivers, congestion is an everyday annoyance. Yeah, but what if the state could speed up traffic by synchronizing signal lights? It's part of Governor Dayton's $10 billion transportation package. WCCO's Pat Kessler joins us now from the Capitol. Uh, interesting idea, Pat. Yeah, it sure is. A new report out today says that Minnesota motorists spend 63 hours a year sitting in traffic, and that is among the worst in the country. One solution to speed it all up is by synchronizing traffic lights to get the cars moving. More people and cars waiting for lights to turn from red to green. Wait, wait. That's where Steve Miskin comes in. Miskin is helping design an overhaul of traffic signals, synchronizing them so a motorist can hit all the greens. Our goal is, as you're driving down the road, you're going from A to B through five signals. Our goal is that you hit them all. Boom, 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 all green. Governor Dayton is calling for a statewide inventory of traffic signals and equipment on heavily traveled roads, part of a much larger road and bridge plan to ease congestion. In 10 years from now, the residents of this state, us, our children, our grandchildren, are going to look at much worse congestion, much greater deterioration, inadequate public transit system, and they're going to say, where were you 10 years ago? Changing traffic patterns is not easy. <coughs> Minneapolis alone has 800 traffic signals. Inspecting and synchronizing will cost $3,500 each. But Mizgin says the savings are worth it. No, everybody's time's worth something. And we're trying to minimize the delay that you have sitting at a signal. It's also your saving in fuel savings, you know. Well, there are about 4,000 traffic signals all around the state. Most of them are in the metro area. Mike, the governor's plan would be to inspect the heaviest intersections, which see about 20,000 cars a day. Getting smoother traffic flow is going to be his priority. Well, we, we heard the comments, Pat, that synchronizing traffic lights would save money, but is anybody saying how much? Yeah, MnDOT estimates that, in fact, that this could save millions of dollars. Many of our viewers know this stretch of highway, Trunk Highway 5 in the western suburbs, goes from around Victoria to Chanhassen to Eden Prairie. There are 19 separate stoplights on that highway. They say synchronizing that alone could save motorists a million dollars a year in fuel. Yeah, not sitting there idling anymore. All right, thank That's you, Pat. That's right.